Hello everyone, welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I really hope you're doing great and I'm so excited about today's crafting slash tutorial video because I'm currently obsessed with this kind of flipbook like a window type flipbook so if you want to join and craft together with me you only need one sheet of paper mine will be in a4 size but you can use any size as long as it is rectangular so yeah grab yourself a sheet of paper and let's make one together as you can see here i have made two of this kind already they were made the same way i just played around with the window one only has one window and the other one has two so here i'm showing you the inside of the flipbook i love how simple and practical it is and of course you can play around with a number of pockets and yeah for the one that i'm gonna make today i want to show you what you can make with only a sheet of paper and i want to have I think I want to have two windows with clear plastic as the back side of the window so yeah you will see what I mean as we go along and of course you can also play around with a theme that you like for today I want to go with the flower theme to kind of match with this set of flipbook So let's start, I am using an A4 craft paper and the first thing that we need to do is to fold them into three parts like this. I don't measure anything but of course you can if you want but I'm just eyeballing the position to my liking. So I like to have the cover or the top part of the flip book shorter than the bottom flap so you will see what I mean here. I like to have it shorter because um, so I can write something on the bottom part and it will be shown like the one that I have on the flip book that's already done in the beginning of the video. Next step is you need to decide the length of the flip book. For me, I just make sure it will fit into the envelope that I want to use. But an important note is we need to cut it regardless how much of a length that you want to cut because we need that cut part to be used as an inner pocket. Alright, so now we have the structure of the flipbook, it's time to make the window. Here I'm using a window rubber stamp as the shape of the window. You can use any kind of window stamp or you can also use a label paper. I think just anything that you can cut the inside to make it as a window. I think this is the hardest part of making this flipbook, which is aligning the stamp to be straight and on the position that I want. You'll see it here that my first window is straight, but the ink wasn't stamped throughout the line. And uh, yeah, but that's okay. We can always cover it with something later on. So on my second window, I am making sure that I put enough ink onto the stamp, but um, the position is a bit crook, but that's okay. Um, I think quote-unquote mistake like this is a challenge for us to be more creative to kind of fix it. And sometimes might as well we found a new technique or a new idea when we were fixing quote-unquote this mistake. So next I grabbed my exacto knife and cut the inner part to make the window. I really love making flipbook for my pen pals and since I have quite a amount of pen pals I love the easy quick and no measurement flipbook like this and you know on top of that it requires only a sheet of paper so that's very convenient and that's basically what inspired me to make this series so in case you don't already know I have a series here called 
one page pocket on my channel so i will link the playlist on the description box if you want to have a look on other projects like this i also often put a tutorial on my pen pal with me video so i might as well put that playlist down below so back to the video i just repositioned the cover flap to go a little bit further below because i feel like the top of the window is very close to the top fold so i'm just adjusting the fold then cut a little bit of the bottom flap so now let's grab the leftover cut that we have from the first cut that we did and use it as a pocket so to make this pocket you will only need to make two folds which are on the right and left you don't need to fold the bottom part because the bottom flap of this flip book here will hold whatever it is inside the pocket because you will fold it upward anyway when you close the flip book I put the arrows here on the screen to help me explaining what I mean. You will see it later as well when I fill in the goodies, but if you have any question, feel free to put it on my comment section below. So we still have a little bit part from the leftover cut and I will use it as a small pocket so I will make a small pocket from it and place it on the left side of the flip book I kind of have an idea to fill it with flower stickers so when we close the flip book the flower stickers kind of pick through the window So I have this plastic from a sticker packaging that I will use as the back side of the window. You might notice on the beginning of the video, I also used a vellum paper on my other flip books, but I noticed my vellum paper is not transparent enough. So I like a clear plastic like this better. So I'm just using a glue stick to stick it down but it actually doesn't work very well, so I don't recommend it. Um, yeah, I recommend something stronger than a glue stick. I noticed the next day the plastic wasn't sticky anymore, so... Next, I have this pretty girl rubber stamp from Freckless Tea, and this is the star of the show. <laughs> I've been obsessing with this stamp so much. I use it on so many pen palettes and flipbook decorations. I really feel like a girl stamp is so versatile and so worth it for its price. If you watch my channel for a while, you would notice that I almost always use a girl sticker for any decoration. And with this girl stamp, it's like an unlimited source of that purpose in a way. I can stamp it on any paper and also a sticker paper. So all of the structure of the flip book are done. So now let's decorate the flip book. And again, of course, um, you can decorate it however you want with any theme that you want. Here I'm going for flower theme. And yeah, um, I will let you enjoy the music and my collage here for a bit.
Hello, I'm back. <laughs> so now let's fill in the flip book. So on the bottom flap, you can put like paper pack or the letter and clip it with a paper clip like this. Then you can add more decoration. I just put some stamps here. And now let's pretend that, that these are the goodies. So yeah, as you can see, the pocket is actually quite big and you can fit a lot more than I put here. So here I'm putting the flower stickers inside the small pocket and kind of position them as well because they will be seen through the window. I really love how it turned out so far. I love all of the yellow flowers and here I'm just finishing off with some pet tapes, stickers and also some sparkles with white gel pen. I will also write something on the bottom right of the flipbook to make it more personalized and special. So it's basically done guys, but I just want to add a little something something which is a yarn So I punched a hole and you can put an eyelet as well if you want Then grab any yarn or string or rope and use it as a closure I think it adds a texture and make it even prettier so yeah that's it that I have for you today I really hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know if you try this one I really want to see your take on this and what theme that you're going for thank you so much for spending your time with me today if you enjoyed this video please like this video and consider to subscribe to me as well it will mean so much to me and you will also get notified of my future videos anyway i really hope you're all doing very well and i will see you in my next video bye